What up, Vendetta? I'll be having a good morning too, Bloody Crow. up on my end and then I'll be right with y'all I think we'll do the crucible right away I think Music's a bit loud, huh? Let me turn that down a bit. I'm gonna turn it down on my headphones, too. Alright, there we go. Thumbnail should be live on the YouTube. YouTube stream linky dinky. And let's get to it, yeah? Let's get down to business. It's gonna have a great day. Um, I think, yeah, I think we should go right to... The big boy crucible to smash that one out the park. And we gotta do better. We um You know, last season when I had my really, really, really good success, I was playing super safe off rip, and I think that's what we're going for. We're going for super safe uh from now on. Taking out my full bar fast. There you go. That's what happens. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it, it's possible. It's very possible. It's just a dirty match. It's a dirty, dirty match. How does that... Uh, sorry. Switch a limited plan. But how does that affect subscribing directly to you? I have no idea. It's like Twitch Turbo, right? Twitch Turbo affecting... Uh, streamers. Does Twitch Turbo benefit streamers at all? I got Twitch Turbo with a con uh, with the conception that it still benefits streamers, but I read that most of the money goes instead of Twitch. Uh, truth, Twitch will pay them as much money as they get if you were shown the ad, which is a few pennies. So yeah, most of the money goes to Twitch. Streamers get the same revenue as if Turbo users had actually watched the ad. If they're using the ad schedule, it's 55% ad revenue to the streamer. Otherwise, it's 30% to streamer. I still can't believe it's uh, less expensive than two subs and there's no ads for any streamer. I can't imagine it's going to stay that cheap for long. Uh, a little with ad revenue, but it's definitely good for the consumer if they go to a lot of streams. I have in the sub channels I watch. I would just do the Twitch Turbo, bud. Do it. Save yourself some money, especially if you watch other streamers. It, it's, it's really... It's not the... Uh, the guaranteed win people are claiming it to be. It's just not. Uh, okay, let me go ahead and sign into the JTD. <laughs> That's right, let me catch up with chat. Um... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Is there any way we can get word on when the red dot notification will be fixed? Ah, uh, if they knew, maybe they tell us, but they don't know. So they haven't told us anything. Uh, really like the CC so far. I've been able to mirror Bifrost in room two. The mirror is a little bit better than it was last season because of the lack of resist. Still kind of coin flippy, right? Uh, so I went through the top war lines. Trophies last season. Six of the top 100 are shells. That's a lot of trophies. Very slowly trickling back into the economy. Well, there you go. I do watch multiple streamers, but I want to make sure I'm actually helping my favorite streamers. Just, uh, if you have other people that like to watch streams and are Marvel Strike Force players, send them on over. So. Share, share videos with your alliance if you want to do that. Otherwise, man, I'm good. You don't gotta, you don't gotta go out of your way for me. 
I just appreciate having you here. Okay, so uh, a lot of that can be true, right? Like, so if you subscribe to me, I think I get like two dollars out of it. I'm on 50-50. They won't make me partner because when I stream other games, my numbers go way down, right? Um, so I got like two bucks. So, and that's a month. So if, if two bucks a month or just the ad revenue, I'm good with just the ad revenue. If it's just a few, a few pennies instead of the two bucks and you're already doing that sporting a bunch of other streamers, that's fine. I'm fine with it. I ain't mad about it. Alrighty. What do we got? Another defeat? Ugh. I've seen that word way too much. All right. Oh, the scroll Bifrost, huh? What's the move there? Uh, Cabal something, right? We're going to do Cabal something there. There's no Black Knight. Oh, there is a Black Knight on defense. Shit, what am I going to do against that Black Knight then? <laughs> Definitely Apocalypse something. Hmm. Says Kingdom Hearts. Oh, damn. Thanks, Eagle. Appreciate you. Bum, bum, bum. Um, Cabal scroll on scroll Bifrost. You might have to, right? Because you got to rewind the Sylvie. Could I not use Void Knight? Could I not do like a Cabal Void Knight something team there and save my guys? Or the Italiations just kill me too fast? There's no Team Loki. Oh, damn. There's no Team Loki. Yeah, could I not use a Void Knight there to steal energy from the Sylvie? With Cabal and... Who else? Who would be a fast villain to get the Cabal started? Because letting that Vault take a turn would also be a death sentence, probably. Yeah, Void Knight can't be countered anyway. That's true. Um, but I wonder which villain would I take in there to make Cabal go burr. Emma doesn't get the job done, I don't think. What up, whoop? Any thoughts on what beats Cabal on defense in 4? Lots of things beat Cabal, especially in 4, where they're going to have less life. They're squishy, and they're uh, vulnerable to opening attacks. Uh, who is with them first would be my question. And, and then if it's not like Super Scroll, I would say New Warriors. But he died fast. Well, mine's not going to get countered. So Vulture will do the damn thing. The problem... The problem will be uh, he's not going to get crits, right? If, if Emma would make my Namor go before the Vol, I would be worried about nothing. Ooh, Morgan the Fae? Mine's on defense. Fuck, Morgan would have been so good here. Yeah, Morgan would have been so good here. This is interesting. There's a... Okay, so the Sunspot gives them offense up in Stage 3, right? That's why that's a little scary, I guess. Um... And I, my Spirit 6 is on defense. I think I'm pulling my Spirit 6 off defense. Yeah, I think I'm going full full man mode from now on. On the offensive side of things. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. What do I do against one? If I'm using Cabal... Stage 3 would still be an easy New Warriors or even Tangled Wet Eternals. Uh, yeah, so I guess they don't have dodge. You can stun the rogue, and then the Icarus pops off, right? Yeah, Tangled Eternals probably wrecks that. Because not landing blind on Photon, her passive white New Warriors? Really? Yeah, there's no gambit. Yeah, if I had Lizard, it'd feel a lot more comfortable at six, but it is what it is. 
Yeah, I want to have Cabal for one if I use Cabal on two. So, I mean, the other alternative is... Uh, Hive Mind Skrull into stage two. And then I keep Cabal for stage one. That's the other option, right? Yeah, the no counterattacks is nice. I gotta be I gotta control that enemy scroll right away, right? I'm good, Cavi. How are you? Uh Venom kicks rocks, which means we gotta be careful about who gets the taunt after that. I imagine it's gonna be Void Knight. New Warriors Lizard did not work in six for you guys? Damn. It's definitely not a free match. If you can kill the 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 uh, the noir Robbie and Photon, so if here's the thing: if the noir dies to the Firestar Ultimate, then it, you're fucked, right? And he probably does. That's kind of the shitty part about it. It's a big team too. Damn, we got the Crimson, a Nightcrawler, and Crimson. Uh, Black Knight. Because they gave every free to play a gear to 19 Robbie. Eh. I think I gotta save Cabal for one, but I actually don't even know what I would pair with Cabal to make them not just get wrecked by the nightcrawler i guess the nightcrawler is at least not going to give um speed to the extreme members right so do i do kang absorbing man cabal on one or is it still kang titanium masters of evil on one and you just accept somebody's getting stunned that's a three diamond crimson fucking. Oh, it's Praetoria. God damn it. Yeah, Titania to set the Black Knight up, and then we do the basic on him there. It's gonna go so bad. Shit, that Nightcrawler is a skirmisher. I'll have to switch my Cabal to Raiders. The ones that are strikers, they'll have to be switched to Raiders for sure. What up, Suma? How's it going? Yeah, Titania and Kang. It's going to go real badly for me, isn't it? Especially if, like, Cyclops dies because he's weaker and then forged ults after Neymar. That'd be really bad. See, this is what I mean. This is the, one of the things I've been trying to think of what I should do with my Kang. Or, sorry, my Black Knight. Putting him with extremes, not a bad call. I think I would maybe do that in stage four though. They're all heroes, so if you bring if you bring Cabal in there, uh, and that's big of a Black Knight in stage four would be a problem, and you just give up on stage one. You see, stage one is just whatever. So Hive Mind Scroll on two. We uh, what's the move there? Do we hit Sylvie with the turn meter rewind too? It would be a sixty percent rewind, right? So if we hit Sylvie with the 60% rewind, and we hit Scroll with it, then we could Void Knight Ultimate. There's no retaliations that come out. Right? Oh, there's no Team Loki. Wait a minute. Void Knight is going to flip all their buffs. Team Loki is the one that gives the safeguard. So Scroll with Hivemind should fuck that up. Scroll with Hivemind should fuck Stage 2 up hard. Scroll's going to go first on my team, I believe. Do I want to take Red Goblin out to make sure that's true? Vader Bill gives three buffs to everybody, right? Where Red Guardian only gives two? I think my scroll goes first. I'm not sure. As long as my scroll goes first, I think it's fine.
So if I rewind on top of the Vol, we'll get the Sylvie rewind. So we won't have to worry about her going before the Symbiotes. And we'll get the Skrull rewind. Then we can put the Ability block out. So that Skrull... Well, maybe we'll do the Special still. But on Vol. So that Skrull gets defense down. And then maybe from there, Carnage might still go first. Because he'll be... Uh, maybe. Drop Red Goblin, just so we don't get the buffs at all. But Red Goblin's the one that's going to make the Symbiotes purr. Right? Red Goblin's the one that's going to make the symbiotes pop off. Unless the idea here is that Scroll will carry the damage. Well, hold on. So if I bring my Red Goblin, right, and I ability block the Scroll, the enemy Scroll is going to put so many debuffs, it's going to activate my Scroll to go faster. And then maybe my Scroll can get kills on the, on the, the Scroll, the enemy Scroll. Yeah, what if I steal energy from the, the scroll? So he's that much further from his ultimate, right? So then he's going to basic, basic, and then special. So Void Knight is going to give him a lot of buffs, right? But if I steal energy from the scroll, he's going to basic, basic, activating my scroll. My scroll is going to activate the fuck out of my hive mind members, and we go from there. The big concern would be that the enemy scroll starts killing my hive mind members. That would be the big concern, right? I think I think that's the move though. And then we'll have Apocalypse to play with. And I guess we're not trying to use Apocalypse in one. Tangled Eternals on three. I'm comfortable enough doing that. Um Tangled Eternals plus who? Nova maybe? Nova to stun the Dazzler, but by then everything is gonna have already happened. Hmm. I have Pegasus to play with. Pegasus might go up against, up against five. And against four, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I don't know what we do up against four if I take Tangled Web away. I am going to ult, uh, ult. Oh, wait. Is it a two-turn ability block on the ult? If it's a, is it a two turn ability block on Scrolls Ultimate, on the, or sorry, on Void Knight's Ultimate? If it's the primary, Cabal Tangled Rune Two. Nah, we're not doing that. We're trying to use, we're trying to use High Mind there with Scroll because we want Cabal for Stage One. Stage One is scary. Where do we end up using Apocalypse then? Let's say we then straight up uh, Pegasus 5. If we do Tangled Eternals on 3, I don't love that matchup. I think I would still bring in... Um, yeah, I think I would still bring in Big Time Spider-Man. It'd be Big Time Spider-Man Tangled Web with the Eternals to make sure Rogue Permadise. I would hit the Dazzler to make sure it then goes over to the Rogue. Or maybe I'd hit the sunspot to make sure it goes over to the rogue. Either way. Stage four, I don't know. Stage five, Pegasus. Stage six would be New Warriors on a Prayer. Um, which means for stage four... What would I do here? We wouldn't have Skrull anymore. We could technically have Apocalypse for this, right? Technically, we could have Apocalypse for this. Or this is where we big time Spider-Man New Warriors. Sorry, big time Spider-Man Tangled Web. And on three, we Apocalypse, Eternals, Speed. Do I have Red Hulk? I do have Red Hulk. Red Goblin makes me go after the enemy Skrull. How is that the case? 
Oh, because in raids we get speed up. In raids we get speed up and we get other buffs. So we can't bring in Red Goblin. That's true. The raid room rule. Yeah, we can't bring in Red Goblin because the raid room. Uh, Extreme should be farmable very soon. Don't think so, comp case. So we do Skrull, Hive Mind, no Red Goblin. Yeah, I don't think we can bring Red Goblin because of the speed up on spawn that Void Knight's given out, which is obviously very important. Cabal, MOE 1. Eternals. Having to use Cabal and MOE together sucks. Uh, Eternals. Big Time Spider Man. No, I need Big Time for four. I kind of need big time for four to control the Thanos. Otherwise, he'll pop off. I wonder if... Oh, no, I'll have Red Hulk. No, I'll have Red Hulk. He'll be fine. I could do Eternals, Apocalypse, Red Hulk, and Speed. My Red Hulk is going to have to turn me to rewind the Dazzler. They don't have dodge. Wait, with Apocalypse, does he take it off multiple targets? He does, right? I'm just worried that that speed will then make the Dazzler go too fast. Which it will, right? But also, if the Dazzler goes and ability blocks, it doesn't matter if the ability block hits Icarus. So long as he doesn't... No, he'll clear ability block, but will he lose the offense up? That's the big question. I don't think it matters. Apocalypse is going to go first anyway. Dazzler won't land her buff because Apocalypse is there. His passive. Apocalypse is going to one-shot somebody. Right? So I think in that case, what we actually do is we Red Hulk special on top of the Dazzler. Then Apocalypse goes and we use Apocalypse's Falcon Punch on the Rogue. That's the move. Right? Yeah. Because it'll, it'll be permakill. And then Icarus will play cleanup. And that's it. There's no Gambit there to worry about. Okay, so we use Apocalypse Eternals on three with Red Hulk. Well, I don't even need to bring in the Eternals, as long as Rogue dies. But we'll we'll bring in a speed character. I said, I said something there wrong. I don't need to bring a speed character, but we will anyway. Hive Mind, no Red Goblin with Skrull. Cabal MOE, I think, is going to lose on one. But I, I think we have to, because I need Apocalypse over on three. Four, Tangled Web, big time. With Nova, there's still the concern that Quicksilver goes first, right? But it's less of a concern, I guess. Um, maybe with uh, Omega Red. Omega Red Ultimate will be real nice there. Or do we want to bring a pre-taunt for the uh, Proxima stun? We can bring a pre-taunt for the Proxima stun, right? Big time, Tangled Web... Um, Nova, and then yeah, pre taunt's probably the better move there. Maybe I bring in Zuggernaut. We could bring in Zuggernaut for that. Are you MOE room two and Cabal Apocalypse big time Spider Man room one? Cabal Apocalypse, Room 1. So Big Time Spider-Man strips off the uh, the Black Knight. Then Nightcrawler goes. He doesn't land his stun. MOE Room 3. Okay. Um, Big Time Spider-Man strips off the Black Knight. Nightcrawler goes, but he doesn't give speed up to anybody else because of Cabal. But he does stun a billion buff people, so we need to have Raiders out. No, he doesn't, actually. because Well, he might. I don't know how the room rules work with as far as focus goes. Uh, Apocalypse does a Falcon Punch. Um, hopefully killing the Black Knight. It should kill the Black Knight at that point, And then the rest of the Cabal goes nuts. They all get ability blocked by Big Time Spider-Man. Forge and Gambit don't, but I guess that doesn't matter, right? The Nightcrawler does, but the Nightcrawler will also shake the ability block off on his turns. So that doesn't matter. Um, I don't hate that. And the, but then we got a straight Master Evil 3. I don't hate that either. 
the permakill situation kind of sucks. But okay, I get I get where you're coming from. Uh, then on four. So I want a big time Spider Man. That's kind of the problem. Casualty Black Knight? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna use Pegasus on five. Sess is in two to make you have to use your sus there. I think. That does mean we have to straight new warrior six, which sucks, but it just kind of is what we got to do. On four, we still got to do some sort of tangled web team there, which is not fun. At least Quicksilver does an alt turn one. Falcon pledges don't kill Black Knight anymore in arena, and mine is nowhere near that close to that power. Yeah, so the big time Spider Man is going to flip his defense up into defense down, or at least should, right? Which will increase the damage from both the uh, the punch from Apocalypse and also the um, the ISO attack. Though I might make Apocalypse a Raider uh, to make sure he does a crit for the Cabal members. Not that they need it, because Nightcrawler is going to go, and then the next character after that is Iron Patriot anyway. No, nah, he doesn't need to be a Raider. <clears throat> I'm not excited about doing stage four, oddly enough, because Tangle Web has 100% failed there before. I could use uh, Red Hulk with my with my Masters of Evil at least, just to make sure Rogue does permadie. With masses of evil, they might they might just laugh and kill everybody anyway, though. Especially no speed up from an enemy gambit coming in. Yeah, four being a tangled web is a tangled mess, isn't it? I wonder if I should do Pegasus in four instead of Pegasus in five. And then I could do a Tangled Web attack on five. Which takes a long time, but I could do Tangled Web Eternals on five. It's a big Thanos, right? You're trade team two diamond. It's a big Thanos. It's bigger Quicksilver. Or we do Undying Tangled Web. Nova on four. Vivaldi, yeah, let's do Vivaldi. Why is he in the epic playlist? I think Vulture makes it a bit harder. He already had a minute. Diamonds for Quicksilver should be coming soon. Probably the same time as Skrull to try and make people think they need to pick between the two, but obviously everyone will pick Skrull. I'm trying to think of like, so Pegasus will get trucked out the gate, right? Because they're going to get hit by the ult from Thanos, but they'll have all their buffs. They're going to get hit by the Ebony Maw Terminator Rewind. They're going to get hit by a Cull Ultimate. They're going to get hit by a Proxima Stun as well. And they'll get hit by two Quicksilver attacks. As long as Rescue isn't targeted, though, they'll pull it off. Because Rescue will cleanse and bring everyone back up to life. And then Kestrel will one-shot somebody. Yeah, Ford is dismissed with Greg, so we can't bring in Undying. Yeah, I forgot to report that to developers. Um... Yeah, there's that. I just have had such bad experience with Tangle Web on 4. And with... I mean, I guess it's the same thing. If Weaver gets stunned by Proxima, it's over. In the Pegasus, if, if Rescue gets tunneled out, it's over. Uh, 
I think I'm still doing that though. I think I'm still doing Pegasus in four and Eternals Tangled Web something in five. No, definitely not, Sean. Definitely not. So they know about it? Okay, good. Would Pegasus work in four with Vulture over Quicksilver? Well, the Vulture is going to do less damage. Buffalo Love! Top of the morning to you, sir. Thank you for supporting the stream. Uh, Vulture is going to do a, a nasty turn. to rewind to Pegasus. Uh, but I think Quicksilver does more targeted, like, oh shit damage. So I think Vulture would actually make it easier for Pegasus to survive. They just need to weather the storm. Which I'm not sure they do. Because I don't know about you guys. They say unstable energy here. They say ultimates cost two less. They don't say uh, villains do like 100% more damage here. But it really feels like villains do 100% more damage in this room. Right? Like when my Namor with offense down erased three diamond Captain America, three diamond Peggy yesterday. I was like, what the fuck? And when the Thanos ulted me in this room the other day i was like what the fuck it hit so hard it made no sense yeah right now though i'm kicking myself for not having brought uh superior six back to uh, offense definitely kicking myself but i think we got the plan Big time APOC Cabal on one. Uh, Hive Mind, No Red Goblin, Skrull on two. Masters of Evil, either straight Masters of Evil, because like Ultron will do some interesting stuff with no Gambit here to fuck him up. And then we could use Red Hulk on five. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Pegasus on four, which I'm not super excited about. You got a crazy fight last night? What'd you get? Oh, damn. Punch down, too. I do have Doom available, actually. If Doom gets pushed by the Thanos, won't he instantly go? I don't have access to Vulture. How did that go so badly for you, Jutsi? Was it just the rewinds? I did not win the CC on the dorks. Actually, I don't know. I haven't logged in. He didn't do his attacks then, but I, I imagine no with all the losses we had. Uh, I do have Doom available. I could do, like, Pegasus Doom and hope for the best, I guess. And if if the Doom gets pushed, he should go before. Doom got one-shot by Proxima? D am I crazy? Why would your six red star Doom get one-shot by Proxima? In what world does that make any sense? She's not even a striker. There's no Corvus to assist her, either. I feel like villains are getting more damage in this room, right? Am I crazy? The ultimate from Proxima does not hit very hard. Doom getting one shot by Vulture? There's something going on in this room. I guess your Doom loses 25% less, less life, but Proxima does not hit that hard. It'll rewind. Yeah, I guess that's the bigger problem. I feel like villains are doing more damage in this room, and it's not written. And if that's the case, I feel like they need to reset the season. Because <laughs> people have been getting caught off guard by that in the stupidest ways. I think I'm just going to hit it with full Pegasus and hold my breath. Because Tangled Web will get wrecked by it. I'm fairly certain Tangled Web gets wrecked by it. Because I, if I don't have big time Spider-Man, Tangle Web gets wrecked by it. Tank Web is a defense team this season for you. I mean, it's the easy mirror match is the problem, right? Unless you flood it with, like, Emmas and stuff, and then it's an efficiency match. No, 
Not with Black Knight? No, that's fair. That's actually really fair. Black Knight, Captain America, Tangled Web. I like it. You could even throw Nova in with that, or like a Kestrel to really piss people off. Tangled at a time. Yeah, we might, we might start leaning that way then. And then, but then I'd have to Wardox 5. Actually, no, I wouldn't, because I would pull Superior 6 off defense in lieu of that. So then I'll have Superior 6. I think we're going to do that after this. We'll see how my opponent deals with Superior 6, though. They're going to have to do the Skrull Doom team. I wonder how that's going to play out. I mean, I imagine New Warriors can get through it, but the bigger the Black Knight, the scarier that is. And then they don't have uh, New Warriors for 6, but then they could use Superior 6 on 6. There's that. I'm, I'm going to be interested to see how Praetoria dealt with the um, the Superior 6. If he hit it with the Noir Doom and it works, I might be a little livid. Because it's like, yeah. Because his Doom is going to be really big. Oh, wait, he's got his Superior 6. He's just going to mirror it. Never mind. Whoopsies. Yeah, he's going to mirror that. That's fine. What about a Doom Vol combo for room four? Doom Vol. I mean, the Doom taking Vol for the ride is great, but Doom's got to survive to do this attack. With uh, Black Knight, like, it's more possible, but I don't know. I don't know. I think I like Tangle Blood there better. If we stare at this too long, we're going to overthink it. So let's get in there. How's it going, everybody? We've been having a rough go of it. All right, we are not having the greatest start to Season 7. There's a couple things that have been bugging us. You know, we had the bug with uh, Superior 6 doing random retaliates, causing slows that messed everything up. We've had multiple, multiple losses trying Hive Mind into Bifrost, uh, both playing it properly and not playing it properly, which has been an absolute nightmare. Uh, we faced off against Crimson Geared Black Knights, like we have to do today, a three diamond Crimson Geared Black Knight. Uh, and then stage six, we've had issues there where honestly, they're getting more crit, which is fine, but it feels like what they're actually getting is not crit chance, but crit damage, because the damage is insane, both in that room and in stage four. Um, I'm worried that it's like a bias I'm having because it's just me getting my ass kicked, but also other people have reported like, hey... You know, Thanos and Black Order in Stage 4 are hitting so much harder. And the Secret Defenders in Stage 6 are hitting so much harder than they did in previous seasons. So I'm actually going to be curious to see um, how that shakes up. I Honestly, I feel like there's a damage modifier in these that there isn't usually. It's still just 20%, right? 10% damage even. Okay. I don't know. Things feel weird. But we're up against a friend, uh, Praetoria. This is going to be interesting. He's got some really... Big teams, some scary teams, including a Black Knight Extreme. I like that. I've been trying to find a way to make Black Knight be with a more relevant team. We got Bifrost Scroll. We got uh, Unlimited Sunspot, so they all have offense up. And then Dormammu, I like that too. We do have a giant Black Order with a giant Quicksilver. Infinity Watch for Efficiency Sync. And then we got the uh, Secret Defenders in Stage 6 with the Noir. So adding a little bit of RNG there. Now, for my part, I keep forgetting to change some of my defense. I wanted to pull my Superior 6 off of uh, defense and throw them onto offense. I think we're going to be doing that next time. I did put my Black Knight with uh, some Black Order members there. Um, probably going to be switching that to some sort of Tangled Web version. So I pull Superior 6 to offense, put Tangled Web on defense. I have a very vanilla defense compared to him. So we're going to see how this goes. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun with it. Let's start with Stage 2. All right. High mind, no red goblin. Yes, scroll. And then venom. So we got our two villains, our two heroes. Uh, do I want him a striker or a raider? Probably a raider, right? Oh, this is fine. Okay. Uh, well, you know, Hive Mind uh, 
wasn't working against Bifrost. So against Bifrost Skrull, let's try hide my Skrull. Uh, so here's the thing. We take out Red Goblin, which sucks, right? Because Red Goblin Ultimate is huge. The revive is huge. Everything's really important in Red Goblin. Plus the damage that he brings. But because this is the raid room, if you bring in Red Goblin, the two buffs he gives on spawn, plus the speed up that Void Knight gives, would make the enemy Skrull go first. So in this situation, it makes sense to sub out the Red Goblin and to hope... That my scroll carries the damage here. As we've been saying, chat, this is either gonna go really badly or really good. It's going really badly. Hold on. How is the enemy scroll going first in this situation? How? I need to know how the enemy scroll goes first in this situation. Like what? Okay, I mean, sure. Let's put the ability block over here in this case. Uh, let's put the ability block over here on Scrawl. Good, it, it landed, so he's going to be stuck doing basics. Let's get the uh, the stun and ability block out on, maybe on Vol here. So she's going to go pretty quickly. It's going to give us offense up. This is going to activate the Scrawl. Maybe a bad idea, because he's going to flip some of my offense ups to offense downs here, right? We're actually super fortunate that Skrull attacked where he attacked. Oh, we lost the offense up on our Skrull. That sucks. Um, we got to start pushing some people. This will push the Loki. And the Sylvie. So that's lots of speed bar we just got. I could kill the Vol here, probably. Yeah, okay. Vol and Beta are dead. Let's go in on the... Uh, the scroll. Keep going in on the scroll. All right, he cleansed everything, and now he's gonna ult and kill me. God damn it! Really though? Oh, thank God. Oh, and the ability block landed. Thank God we got through as much damage as we did. It will steal energy here. That's great. Uh, we can't flip any buffs. What does more damage? Three twenty, three forty. He might bleed out here. No. Oof, getting everything flipped sucks. Oh, he's taking another turn. He's eating all these bleeds for breakfast. Oh, the humanity. We got it done. That was a good uh that was a good one. Alright, that was a good one. Uh I guess there is okay, so here's the thing. Pathfinder once upon a time made a video about it doesn't matter how many buffs go out, it matters who they're coming from. So because my Void Knight gave four speed ups to four characters, four different characters, that gave 400% speed bar to the enemy scroll. I guess because Beta Ray Bill gave three buffs, but only to the four people, that it made it a coin flip and the enemy scroll went first. That's not how it reads, but that's that's it's good that it's not as powerful as every single buff gives 10% speed bar, right? Um... Yeah, that was trash. That was trash. If my scroll got rebounded there, I think that would have been a wrap. I think in the future, we're going to have to look at doing Pegasus scroll there instead. Because they'll absorb the damage better. But we'll have to wait and see how things shake up. Okay, doke. Let's get this ass whooping out of the way. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Um, we'll move you there, you there. You could be here. You need to be a skirmisher. Not for the fo uh, not for the ability buck for the focus. <laughs> okay. All right. The next scariest matchup is gonna be my cabal up into this um this giant giant black knight extreme team with two characters in crimson gear, lots of diamonds on the team. So, we are going in with Big Time Spider-Man as a skirmisher, so that he's more likely to strip the buffs off Black Knight. Um, there's no there's no deflex on Black Knight, but that doesn't matter, because a Sp Big Time spider Man's always unavoidable. I'm more concerned just about the focus check. That's why he's a skirmisher. This isn't to get ability blocks on people. The ability block would not hold on Forge, 
on Gambit or on Nightcrawler. Even though Nightcrawler is not a raider, he just clears the buffs on his turn. Um, the reason I'm okay with giving up the speed advantage here is because Nightcrawler is not going to give speed bar to the other extreme members, and they're relatively slow. Gambit's not going to get speed bar either, right, on turn. And his stun shouldn't land, and the ability blocks shouldn't land because of my Apocalypse. But I'm not sure how the room rules work with focus. So I am a little concerned that Nightcrawler... We didn't flip the defense up? Are you kidding me? God damn it, we're not going to kill this Black Knight. He's going to kill us. I am concerned that this is for somehow going to land ability blocks. It didn't. Okay. We need this to magically flip the defense up. And it didn't. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, he's stunned at least. The stun landed. Thank God. It's the little victories in life. You gotta... You gotta... We are ability blocked, though. Why are we ability blocked? Wait, why are we ability blocked? So it did land on him? That's some bullshit. We need this to crit, and we need this to crit badly. And he's not a raid. Okay, we gotta crit. That's good. Also, he just demolished that guy's life bar. Holy crap. I am number two. If I'm not real, I'm uncomfortable. Let's go! Die, Cyclops. Or both of you. Both of you die. How about that? Get out of here, nerds. I'm balling. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Never come back. Ever. Fuck out of here. Where's my Ultron? Ultron's about to get some goddamn play here. Number two. If I'm not for real, I'm uncomfortable. Or should I bring in uh, Archangel? Should I bring in Archangel for this one? For turn me to rewind? It's not a terrible idea, right? He was a striker, yeah. Now it's just evolving to shout in. Yeah, pretty much. So Ultron here does have permakill. His bots are not going to get us wrecked. They're going to give speed up to uh, Kang, which could be interesting. And then we get the vulnerables on the beginning for it. So maybe this is actually time for Ultron. It's time for the full Ultron experience. Okay, so here's the thing. Because this is stage three, we get lots of assists when characters have offense up, which is great. Um, and also because there's no Gambit, we're not getting pinged to hell when we summon with Ultron. So I think this is going to be a prime situation where we can actually use Ultron, have some fun with it. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to get lots of assists here. Actually, I don't think the bots do assist when they have offense up, but I, I could be mistaken there. We're going to find out. Um, and the whole idea here is we need to get some permakills, right? So let's get the ability block over here. When Kang takes his turn, vulnerable should go out. That's fantastic. And a big part of me says I need to go for the rogue right away. And I'm going to, but I also feel like I got to take care of this dorm too. I got to take care of the dorm. Well, let's get the slow on rogue for sure. Let's get the, uh, sis oh, she's also not going to go stealth, right? Because no, uh, no cycle or no gambit here. Let's see how this goes. Nice. Oh, damn. Those assists. Those assists were crazy. Um, let's just rewind here. This is going to take Sunfire's first life off, but more importantly, it rewinds the dorm for me. And I need that. Let's further rewind the dorm here just to make sure. And then let's uh, let's take Sunspot's first life. Okay, I think Master of Evil, I'm just way over there. We're just way too strong here. This isn't even close. Is this going to call an assist too? Does this call an assist? No, it doesn't. Okay. That's fine. This will though. And then Kang is going to finish it off. Ah, he didn't flip the dorm. Ah, it doesn't matter though, does it? The assist will do it. Even if the iso attack doesn't. All right. Full massive evil can be okay. Especially when there's no gambit just ruining everybody's face. 
All right, now we get into the fun fights. Actually, those a couple of those were fun fights, but... I don't know what to do here between Pegasus and, and Tangled Web here. I really wish I had not to choose between Tangled Web, but choose between um, Superior 6. Because then this would be easy. Would it be easy? I'd probably still want to use Superior 6 on 6 instead of New Warriors. Uh, actually, no, I'd use Lizard. I'd use Lizard with them. And then I'd put, I'd put like, Vulture in over 4 instead. Damn. I don't have faith in Pegasus and 4 at all. Well, here's the thing. Pegasus and 4, I think, works if there's actually no invisible damage number. If there is an invisible damage number, though, then I'm truly terrified. But Tangled Web is vulnerable to getting destroyed. Let me put it this way. I already used Big Time Spider-Man. I'm not worried about the... the, the the Quicksilver. I'm actually more worried about the Thanos ultimate. Quicksilver doesn't alt turn one. He's a hero, not a villain. This is only for villains, so they get the, the energy. Yeah. I, I Look, I'm not super comfortable with it. I'll definitely throw that out there, but we'll find out. All right, here we go into stage four. Now, I really do think there's an invisible damage modifier here. The good news is Thanos is going to be further away from his special, right? He's going to do his special turn three, which means they are going to be hitting into all my buffs from Pegasus. Uh, the bad news is we're going to get rewound by the Thanos ultimate, the Proxima ultimate, and the Ebony Maw ultimate. Uh, honestly, in a perfect world, like Darkhawk dies, right? And then Rescue brings him back. In the... Most most ducked up world is um, the most ducked up world is that rescue gets hard focus and gets thrown out. See, I'm reading chat right now. It's like Doom with pre taunt Thanos will push. This is a two diamond Thanos. I'd be worried more about Thanos straight up killing the uh, well. First of all, killing the pre taunt, but also killing the Doom. I, on the baby account, I use Pegasus into Black Order. Obviously, this is not stage um, four I'm doing it on because I'm doing it in war. And there's no quicks over there. But it's mostly okay. This is mostly okay. There's no deflect here. Wait a minute. Could I? Do you think this will erase the, the Apocalypse or the Thanos? We have offense up. If we crit, this might just straight up kill him. It crit. He's gone. Kestrel's the best. Oh, lordy. Help you. Kestrel's the best. Oh, lordy, lordy. Oh, baby girl. You got fucking skunked. You got fucking skunked. <laughs> oh, you got skunked. You got absolutely trashed, Thanos. How does it feel, baby boy? Oh, my God. It's not over yet because Quicksilver is still getting lots of dodges here, which is super annoying. This can... Uh, okay, so this can be... Okay, we need to do this because we need to start getting some of those dodges off Quicksilver. This will also kill the Ebony Maw, which is great. Take some of the enemy turns. Okay, wait, here comes his ultimate. If that's not on Kestrel, she'll survive. It wasn't on Kestrel, so that's good. Let's get defense down on this guy. Oh! 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 Kestrel says this is my Crucible season, bitch! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, you gear tier 18 three diamond quicksilver. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Why don't you make rescue a fortifier? I don't think it matters much. I don't think the barrier from fortifier does much at all. I mean, we're, we still got to hit six. Six is going to be a nightmare. Um, we're going to do this. With this and this and this. I have quicksilver. Uh, do I want to use Quicksilver here? I don't think so. Uh, what do I have that's extra? Oh, do I, I'll get rid of the Nova. Or do I keep the Nova and get rid of Red Hulk? I probably keep the Nova and get rid of Red Hulk, right? Red Hulk can't clear the revives turn one anyway. This is going to be a really shitty efficiency matchup, that's for sure. 
Yeah, no big time sucks. Now we use big time. I don't really have any cool permakill people. All right, so this match is going to suck. At best, this is an efficiency sink. At worst, Infinity Watch somehow pulls this one off, right? We've seen Infinity Watch do some really messed up shit before. Um, but the whole idea here is that we're going to be mostly protected from them, right? And, uh, yeah, we'll be mostly protected from them. We'll do some turn meter rewinds. If we get the double tap on Nebula, like, that's going to be super awesome. And if not, then, you know... It won't be super awesome. But let's get the five charges up. I was really tempted to do the special there. So that I would uh, do damage to the Phylavel. Uh, but that's okay. Do I want to do the stun here? No, nah, let's just do the basic. Just do as much damage to Phyla as we can. That's kind of a good thing. Does this kill the Nebula? Oh, the Nebula was so close. Oh, um, Phyla, Phyla felled it over. Okay. That's good. Taunt on Adam Warlock. That's unavoidable. It went on to the Nova. Nova lost his charges. Interesting. That's very interesting, actually. Uh, this won't land, but you know what? This will. Do we want to take Gamora's first life before the heal? We probably do. Oh, it didn't work. Damn it. I thought for sure that was going to take uh, Gamora's first life. But maybe. Maybe this will now. This will definitely kill her, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay, Gamora's perma-killed. That's great. He has a deflect. Later, Gator. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want you don't want to be blocking in Adam Warlock's face, okay? Adam Warlock does not uh, want to be blocking in Icarus's face. Sorry, I said that wrong. Icarus does not take kindly to people trying to stop him from flexing on nerds, okay? He don't like it. You should have known better. All right, that was way more efficient than I thought it would be. That's great. Uh, let's see how stage six is going to completely derail everything we've done so far. Okay. I feel like this is going to get super derailed. All right, stage six. I feel like this is where we just get stumped by this team, either on the 16% RNG chance that Gwenpool gets rewound, or just, again, it feels like this is not crit chance that's being increased, but it's crit damage. But we'll see how this goes. Okay, so Gwenum will not get rewind, but maybe Firestar will. Dagger got rewind. That's not the worst thing in the world. All right, good so far. Okay. I actually like there's no vulnerable on Noir here because I really don't want Noir to die. Oh, good, Noir didn't die. So we spread more bleeds. Okay. And now we really want a disrupt to land on the... Uh, a disrupt did land on Robbie. This is fantastic. And we got a kill, so maybe... Oh, we got two kills. So maybe Dagger can alt turn one here and just send the Robbie home. Ah, oh, because of the rewind, it's not going to happen like that. Ah, but you know what? He's got... He's got blind, so his uh, passive already missed. That's great. This is going fantastic. Let's do this up here. Good. 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 It's good. It's good. That, that's good. That's good. Even if I lose this Crucible, that's good. That felt good. That felt good. Let's see how we did. So our opponent had more interesting defense. 181 is actually not a good score this season. You're looking more at like the 190s, especially the defense I had. So... Oh, which deity do we want to pray to for this one before we hit this back button? Dear Kratos, who art in Valhalla, let me kick his ass! Yes! <laughs> yes, we did it! We did it! Oh, yeah! Woohoo! The Superior Six mirror matchup worked! It worked! <laughs> we, we taxed them! We got more efficiency! Let's freaking go! He used straight hive mine into my... Oh, it was on punch down. This... I've tried this so many times, and it does not work for me. 
What? I don't... I've done it perfectly. I've done it imperfectly. Okay, so he goes for the energy steal. He landed both defense downs. My, my Void Knight never lands the defense downs. He always gets deflected. All right, the ult offense up. The stun did not stun Vol. No, stop. You stop right now. Why is that Gwenom not dead? My Gwenom dies when I do that to the Retaliates. Death. My Red Goblin dies to Retaliates. Okay, so here is another moment of RNG that people are not accepting is a reality. If Beta Ray Bill hits on the first Retaliate, which is complete RNG, complete RNG, he will flip the defense up to defense down, and your Red Goblin will die. And when he dies, the second hit of his ultimate, for whatever reason, doesn't register. I noticed that in my last match. I hate that matchup. I hate that it's going to work for every single one of my opponents and every single one of you that does not know the intricacies here. But I've talked to so many other very well-read people that are experiencing this same shit I am. All right? I hate that that's going to work for everybody. It's so bananas. And that was efficient as hell for him. 360. God damn. Uh, he, okay, he used full master evil against my, you know what? We got to pull extreme out of there. That's not going to, that's not going to cut it. That ain't going to cut it. Uh, our cabal team, or sorry, our black knight team did really good here. Actually, we, uh, wow. He, he let Thanos ult. Cause that's a really slow doom. And then we get rewind after rewind after rewind. Interesting. He still pulled it off though. Cause cabal is cabal, right? Uh, he straight dark hold in my infinity watch. I love that. And then he knew, yeah, Jutsi. Jutsi. You seeing this? You seeing what I'm seeing? Punch across territory. Let's see how this one went. <clears throat> my dorm didn't die. That That's the ticket right there. My dorm didn't die. Which means you can spread the ability block. I think I gotta move Black Cat over there. It's because he could put another slow on on the Morgan that fucked it up. But I think my position is actually off. Yeah, I think my position is just off here. It's it's letting them do the extra rewind. Look how clean this was though. My God. Until Robbie takes one turn. Do you see that damage? No, come on. You can't tell me the damage in this room isn't jacked up. Wait, did Morgan actually do her ultimate? Wait, did Morgan get to do her ultimate and then it just didn't land? Hold up, we gotta watch that back. Sorry, folks, I know this is a longer video, but if that's true, then uh, then this is just straight luck at the same time. Did she do her ultimate? Now, Morgan didn't go before Cloak. That was the real problem there. Yeah. Wow, she didn't flip any of the bleeds, huh? She had no debuff. She flipped... Oh, no, I, she only flipped some people she hits. She, she, she targeted the corner there, which makes sense. Okay. No, it's fine. Okay. All right. That's fine. That damage there is crazy. That damage there is crazy. All right, guys. Well, we pulled it off. Uh, shout out to Praetoria. Uh, we're buddies. Um, I really like his defense. His defense was way more creative than mine. He put it out there on the line. Um, and he made me think, especially stages four and five, I had to really de uh, deliberate on what I was going to do there. Uh, so that was really fun. That was a great crucible. Hope everyone has a great day and a good start to your weekend. Until next time, stay happy, healthy, have fun. Bye-bye. Went under 25%. Am I... Did I never read this? Where, where are you getting this room rule from? That's just Cabal. Zubin, that's only Cabal members.
Yeah, villains don't do extra damage. This is just Cabal members. I feel like villains are doing extra damage too. I really do. Any ideas for Superior 6 and DK in room 1? Oh god, Superior 6 and Black Knight. That's a tough one, huh? Yeah, Black Knight does hit ungodly. Maybe maybe they did fuck it up. Maybe she is doing 200% extra damage. <clears throat> I'm going to do this. I'm going to send it to the Envoy program, but I'm also going to send it to Baka. I'm hearing reports that all villains are absolutely smashing people when below 50%. I have experienced this firsthand against a Thanos one-shotting everybody in stage four at low life. Black Cat is one-shotting entire full life new warrior teams in stage six at low life. Is it possible this code is incorrectly giving all villains 200% damage? No, we don't know if they messed it up. Uh, we're, we're just speculating. You gotta remember, we are very, very biased. We are very, very biased in everything. Gotta remember that. The defenses? Oh, I'll show my, my defenses are really slack. We're gonna definitely pull this one out. I do think we're gonna go Black Knight Tangled Web for a different look. I might throw this here, but then it feels bad on defense. If it's a real feels bad kind of moment. I think Pegasus beats it anyway, right? And then what do I throw here? I'm gonna do this to protect this team from Masters of Evil. I'm not sure how much I like getting rid of Tangled Web, but, but I'm doing it. And then what do I want to bring in here as the, uh, the fifth? Maybe a Doom? No, I like my Doom. A next 23? I would want it to be somebody tanky, right? None of these guys, none of these boys are tanky. Maybe we throw an Omega Red just because we've had no use for Omega Red. Peter B. Parker for the passes helps protect your Tangled Web. What does he do for them? Nah, Zugs being another pre taunt gives them a different target to go for. Captain Carter just for the heal on Black Knight. Hmm. Dorm, death proof. Peter B. Parker for passives, defense up and revive on spawn. Peter B. Parker does revive on spawn. What? Not revive. Death proof. Okay, thank you. Of offense down, black type wiping new warriors basically. And this is how big is this team? Do you have this as part of it? They're all full life. So she's above 25% life now. She hit a low target per reset. I mean, she hit the same people twice. And then it's Robbie Reyes coming in. I'm not sure if that's indicative. I see what you're saying, Zubin, because she said it a lot, but goddamn. I'm not sure if that if that's the right uh the right the right look there. Maybe Nova here. Nova's pretty tanky. Uh Pavitra? Yeah, Pavitra is real good. If I had him, I'd be putting him here for sure. 
I think maybe Nova here. Turn one stun? I don't know. So the problem here is it's just going to get cabaled, right? So we got to make sure that if we're putting this here, then we're putting something... Oh, we'll put Quicks over here. Uh, then we got to make sure that what we replace Superior 6 with, they want to put Cabal over there, right? What the hell am I replacing Superior 6 with? Maybe it's time to whip out that mutant team. I had I had built that mutant team in my head. Maybe it's time to use it. I'll switch this before we forget. Maybe it's time to use that mutant team. Do you have a war a video on war attack priorities for the current season? No, I don't, Jose. I don't really do much with war recently. I probably should get back into it. Um, God, what would you do with one to make it uh, a little bit worse? Because I want to move Sunspot over to three for a different team. Like this, this is not going to work at all, but it's something I want to do anyway. This, 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 this. A Cyclops. Oh, no, I put Cyclops over there. Whoops. There we go. A small Phoenix to push Forge. Yeah, that could be annoying, right? But I was going to put Phoenix over in the other team. Uh, you know what? This is fine, I think. Sunspot and Cyclops is a great combo. Oh, but you need Cyclops with the Extreme for that to work. Kind of like this. Maybe I'll throw a bishop over with them. Gambit in three, Phoenix in one. I think that makes one just too free. Hold on, let me think this through. I hate that people are getting away with hive minding my big ass Bifrost. Just because of the way retaliations work. Is there a way to dictate who retaliates first? If you attack a certain position away from Beta Ray Bill, would can you make him attack last? And can you make Vol hit last as well? To avoid expose hits? It could be. Yeah, no, I don't disagree with you. Blackbird on Bifrost requires a giant Thanos, and it does not scale well into Bifrost. The bigger Bifrost members are going to survive the bleeds, and then because they heal on their turn, they're just going to re-up, re basically. That's why you don't see it happening against 3 million Bifrost, Zubin. You only see it happening against 2 million Bifrost. And yes, they're small Black Orders, but it's a giant-ass Thanos. I think I liked three before, but it's because there was a Black Knight. I don't like it without Black Knight. It's just going to be a super quick efficiency kill. <laughs> three is going to get dumpstered. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to force that. Uh, I don't know why I'm trying to force it. It's going to get dumpstered unless I put something super spicy with it. And then it'll still get dumpstered. It's just going to pull something a little bit more interesting. Part of me, like, really wants to have superior six on defense. Let 
What if we just put Red Hulk here? Somebody that's really fast. Just to get assist real quick. The Silver Taunter with Phoenix? You mean Absorbing Man? Are you talking about Bishop? Colossus. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Colossus is hella hard if you put Kitty in here, too. I just hate it all. I hate all of it. You guys are going to hate me for saying this, but we need another team that flexes well to defense. That's how Rock, Paper, Scissors match against Superior 6. And depending who you put where or if you stack them. Is sub six slash apoc drop spider slayer good versus full superior six in three? If you drop spider slayer, you lose offense up and they keep offense up. They go before you, they get all their assists, and they probably instantly kill you. No, uh, against the superior six, especially in stage three, like you really want to be doing that. Um, Especially if they have offense up. You really want to be doing either the Noir Doom counter, Noir Doom Eternals counter and praying to God, or the Skrull Doom counter and going off that way. Penny Parker's very good, yeah. Shit, I don't know what to do here on... We could put a Black Order team together, right? Like, the Black Order team we just fought, it gave us a little bit of stress. We could put a Black Order team in four and just move four over to five and five over to three. Like, all we're doing in four is we're we're relying on them using villains to get fucked on it. And they probably still will, but they're just going to get fucked less. I don't know. And then I'll take Quicksilver out. I'll put him with Black Order just because. We've had many to taunt your enemy. Now we're talking. I'll put Nova here, I guess. All right. God, it sucks how small they are. Should I focus bulking up my CC teams to match my competition or focus or, or focus? Uh, I'm getting apocalypse. Um, I think you want to build super tall. Uh, I think your cruise. I think I think whatever the newest team is, Sean, is what you want to be building up, basically. So like Cabal, even if I'm war focused, even if I'm uh, apocalypse focused, I'm gonna build my Cabal up first, and then I'll go back and work on that. And it'll be a long journey, but in the meantime, I'm gonna have these characters that are actually built to counter a lot of stuff that Apocalypse does, right? So yeah, other people might have Apocalypse, but your Cabal can now stand up to Apocalypse teams. So that's that's how I'm handling that situation. I think I'll make him a raider, maybe. No, he's very strict. It's fine. This is fine. Yeah, it's fine. I don't like it, but uh, yeah. Having superior six back and having lizard back will be nice. Although lizard, uh. With Juicy's little dorm, uh, Morgan team here doesn't really help much. Drop no order for Peter B. My Peter B. Parker is baby. I will miss Tangled Web on offense, but I'm replacing Tangled Web on offense with Superior Six on offense, right? So it's not really, it's not a, it's not a, it's a, it's an exchange in the favor of offense. Darkhold Rex Black Order, Son Dulum Stream. Of course it does. Yeah. Of course it does. But I got my Morgan over here. If I didn't have my Morgan over here, then yeah, Darkhold is a great team. I 
That's what I've been doing. So my leftovers, I'm deciding if I should finally bite the bullet and build Death Seed Unlimited. Last things I need to get Baby Apoc. Yeah, if you're there, Sean, I would do it. I'd get the Baby Apoc. Um, maybe we'll start with this for next week. I think. I think the stage six, even though my opponent beat it on a punch across, I think my positioning didn't help the situation any. Like letting Morgan get um double offense down rewinded, that was bad, right? So she didn't go in before cloak. Um, that's the whole reason Morgan's there because she stops the cloak from putting out the disrupt. Um, and if they go over and they kill the dorm, it's fine. Because again, no cloak means that Robbie Reyes doesn't get disrupt and he's gonna get death proof. So he's not gonna bleed out and he's gonna pop off. Yeah. The only thing I wonder is like, should we just take hard light out? If there is no hard light there, will people still try and force their new warriors there anyway? Cause hard light is there to mess with other teams, right? But, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't Morgan undodgeable, Black Cat undodgeable, Robbie undodgeable, and we don't care what Dorm does? Right? Let me just check Black Cat. She's the one who might be dodgeable on her special. Yeah. So her, her special could be dodged. That would be the problem, right? Um, and she would go before Robbie, so her special would be completely whiffed. Where does Morgan go first? Wait, does Morgan go first before Black Cat? She does, right? If Morgan goes first, that activates Robbie. Robbie strips things off. Am I crazy? Morgan goes first. Because she gets a uh, minimum 15% speed bar. No, she gets more. She gets speed bar because there's mystics on the enemy team. I think we take photon out, guys. Or sorry, I think we take hard light out. We put photon in. Because what is hard light doing for us? She's putting taunt up. And isn't she putting defense up? Isn't that working against us? Because he gets flipped on some characters. Am I wrong? Where's Miss Marvel hard light? I might try it and just see what happens. Where is she? Um, fill speed bar barrier. So she does barrier to secret defenders. That's important. She does apply defense up to secret defenders. What up, Maddie? Undying outside of war? Not lately, no. I've been there for Kyle Tower. I'm wondering if they're uh, gonna help me. It depends where you are, um, Maddie. But they can be useful. Might get scrub before Big Apoc. Nice, Sean. Where would you put in four instead of Black Order if you don't have them? Split extreme into two teams with unlimited. That's one option, Purple Brown. I, I kind of prefer having just like two big teams to make them think more. But because we're so offense heavy, yeah, I, I because we're so offense heavy, that's probably a good idea, Brown. Okay, so Hardlight gives defense up. She's not landing her turn meter rewind anyway in this matchup against New Warriors, right? So there's no point in that. She does give barrier. She gives further barrier. She clears two random negative effects. Although she goes first, so this doesn't actually help us. She also applies regeneration, which gets flipped into bleeds. I think I'm getting rid of hard light here. I think I'm putting photon in. I don't think other people should do this. Let me try it out and see what happens. <laughs> do we have a Zerator? Nice. Since they rehash Juggernaut, building... Yeah, so the, here's the thing. We know that Undying is going to be needed for the coming Clint Tower. We also know that generally, when it comes to these new modes, they use new teams, right? So it's not to say that Undying is new. It's not to say that, hey, their lifespan is going to be longer now. It's just that we're getting forced to build them now for a new thing. So it makes sense to build them up. Not bad at all, Maddie. Yeah, I'm going to take, take Hardlight out of this one. Because I think Hardlight is actually 
The defense down might be a net positive for the new Warriors spread. It does actually get flipped, right? Hold on. Let's find out. Let's find out. I think, yeah, I think hard light might not be a positive here. I know Photon's first attack is unavoidable too. So the flip comes ahead of time because there's only three secret defenders. So wait, hard light doesn't actually t take a turn. Also, it doesn't matter. So it doesn't really matter either way. The way that all the different targeting happened there was definitely not to my benefit. So d did the defense down hurt Robbie there, right? Is it at least fair to say that? Without that defense up, does the immunity get flipped on um, Black Cat? That'd be the next concern. You might have to have hard light if that flips the immunity on Black Cat. I, I want. I would want to know that. There's not really an easy way to test that, though, is there? Uh, I'd be less concerned about the... I'm less concerned about the armor and more concerned about the defense down on Robbie, how that's affecting things. The real problem, I think, is that you lose the, the immunity... Because the, the Gwenpool is flipping all the death proofs and the defense up, but not flipping the immunity. So if the immu if the defense up is not there to protect the immunity, that might get flipped. I think you might have to use hard light, which sucks. Let's just put it in the proper position and see what happens. He was on Death Star, though. Any punch up Hive Mind suggestions for Rune 2? You're punching up into Hive Mind? Pegasus? Pegasus destroys it. Yeah, I'm about to hit 75 tomorrow or the next day. We haven't done the baby count yet. We're going to do that after this. I think this is good enough for now. Short of putting Pegasus back on defense. I'm just waiting for the community to start getting rolled by Bifrost as well. All right. All right, we went uh, two for six this week. Not great. Let me message Prey.
Da -da 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 Sorry, I'm just signing in. And it takes forever. So I have a video. I just need to put the final touches on and upload for 2 o'clock today. We're going to do that. I'll format the fight we just did to get that ready. Then I want to do a video for new players. That won't come out tomorrow, though. That'll come out on the weekend. That's where I put my videos that I know are not going to do well, but I think is important for, like, new players and community and stuff. Um, it's about a 500k punch-up. You should be fine if you got, like, the big cash and stuff. Uh, but, yeah. So, I did a war. I have, I'm in a current war, right? Where building my raid teams as high as possible, like my high mind makes treating my Pegasus, those teams, as a newer player, have allowed me to not only stay in the crucible meta with the new account but also stay in the war meta so the raid teams are just your universal you got to build them up teams they've also flexed over to the horseman unlocks a lot like i'm going to show i have the seven star morgan already um and so that those are going to be the teams as a new player you guys you focus on because in in light of the new boosted situation you really got to tunnel that down however the new teams, I think you should still be bringing them up to level 70. Maybe level 75 once your boost gets high enough. But sticking on your war, your uh, your raid teams is super important. There's more to it than that, but you got to keep it simple in those videos, right? I don't know if I actually beat this or not. Maybe because Cloak is bigger and, and Cersei's bigger? Oh, the, the Bifrost are big too. Just, just the hell is not big, actually. Oh, yeah, we'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, they really are. This does no damage. That's fine. Get off that taunt if we can. Damn it. Get off that taunt if we can. Thank God. There's the revive on Scarjo. Uh, no, I don't want to do the term to rewind right now. You crazy? I did recently build up my Morgan. She's seven, seven yellow now. It's bonkers. Let's get that death proof off. Oh no! My clone! I just don't want him to do the thing. Yeah, we'll do this now. Erase. Turn meter eraso. Oh! That's gonna give Minerva way too much speed, though. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Also, building up your uh, your raid teams does help a little bit on the legendaries. Nice, Sam Root. Happy it worked. Yeah, technically they should all be dead before they get a turn. Especially when you're in control and you can use like the Kestrel special to start it off. It's just crazy. Actually, no, Kestrel goes like last, huh? Regardless, you kill the Red Goblin. It's over. All right, damn it. I'm looking for T3s in this store, and they never pop up for me. Are we getting Namor up there? Uh, I'm, I guess I'll do Cloak. I'm not doing Big Time Spider-Man at higher. I'm kind of waiting for Kraven. I got Kraven 7th Red Star today, but he's not able to fill it out. Can't do anything there. We don't have Quicksilver to 5 red yet, so that's useless. All those characters are useless. Is Kestrel finally going to be here? No, but Kang is. Oh, I don't have the, I don't have the golds for it. I need to get this on Kang because he's got three diamonds. But we're forever away from his uh, stars getting filled up anyway. We're winning right now this war. That's crazy. Oh, also, I think it's my raid teams that are making me win this. Uh, yeah, I didn't switch my defense yet. I only had unlimited versus... Or sorry, extreme versus extreme. This is actually winning the match. So my opponent... Has gear tier 17 characters. My opponent was level 91. And I was still able to win. But mostly because he didn't set a defense. He set no defense. If he had set one team, I would have instantly lost. 
Yeah. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is the current one. Sorry. I lost on purpose in the current one. So, yeah, he just set no defense. So, I was able just to one-shot everything. This is one of the most efficient uh, crucibles I ever had. It was like 239 or something. And the second one, it was something very similar. He had, like, some characters in here. Like, he had Yondu and Nebula here for some reason. He had uh, Doc Ock, Mysterio, then the Hulk and Thing. Like, he had a bunch of random Gear Tier 12 characters in here. And then when I go to his attacks, um, he didn't do them all. So I'm not sure if I would have won them or not. Uh, but then this last guy, this last guy, um, I don't know what happened with this last guy. Wait, is this the last guy? Which one is the guy who didn't do all his attacks? The second guy. The last guy. Oh, God damn it. The last guy couldn't clear a room, which is kind of funny because I lost on purpose. He one shot with counters. Nice. That's nice, Bando. Um, yeah. So I lost two matches on purpose. So I threw like five level one characters two times at each team. And I did the cleanup. And I did this for every single room for the uh, web store milestone that's up there right now. So I like I, I thought I was just giving the match away. Right? I was like, oh, I'm just going to lose this one. It's fine. But then my opponent couldn't clear me. Couldn't clear my... Uh, well, he only did two attacks here. But then, is it this one? Yeah, he couldn't clear my extreme team. But it was weird, because he, like, he put a gear tier 17 sunspot in the first attack, and then a gambit in the second attack. It, like, it was, I don't know. I think it was weird how he broke his teams up. Maybe he just wasn't used to people putting an actual team up on I don't know. It was weird. It was very weird. Like, his forge is over here for some reason. Uh, his Nightcrawler was over here, too. It's like he, he broke up his extreme thinking that they would just one-shot it. It was super weird. All right, um, okay, we're on the baby count. Let's spend some energy, and let's make that video, or let's edit the other one and make sure it's ready to go. Hold on. Can this work? No, it's a big-ass gambit there. One shot, everybody. I was confused why this didn't work for me. Yeah, I think I need to capture footage of this one. Hold on. Because my Nightcrawler goes first. He puts dodges up on everybody, right? Apply evade to the two most injured allies. Oh, well, maybe not. I could have sworn he put it up on the... No, he didn't put it up on the Icarus. Oh, but my Icarus is going before... Oh! This Nightcrawler doesn't have the T4. Okay, well, there's that. I wonder if this is winnable. I'm just going to basic. Or just dead. That's good. Rewind. Oh. The last... I could have sworn that my... Icarus... Icarus is the lowest life character on the team because Gambit's pinging him and no one else has been hit. Okay. Yeah, so my Icarus got dodges from Nightcrawler one time, but the enemy Nightcrawler still stunned my Nightcrawler. I thought it was super weird. All right. Whatever then. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can't mess with the Black Knights, unfortunately. All right, let's um, let's go gather some footage from yesterday's. Today's Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow's Friday. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I think we started our attacks here, and we actually did some bangers for as far as early game bangers go. Jericho, 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 Skunker, Skunker, Storky Dad. Oh yeah, this was a banger. You ready? Who ready? Woo! I'm putting the over under 30 days. I don't know, man. You gotta, you gotta like level 90. Boom. 92? Arena team is 1 million? God damn. My turn. I'm steady. I like how the new warriors actually bounce back here on their life. I think that was pretty impressive. This is one scroll girl give me such a hard time. Jesus. We're up to two minutes. This is on replays. This is on times three replay. That's crazy. Crazy how fast that or how slow that felt. Alright, so let's rename this. This is a uh, Baby New Warrior versus Young Avengers. And if that Chavez had a passive, it would have been Dunzo for me. Do we do others? Or do we only do the one fight? No, we did others. Okay. Uh, this is a tough one to show. This one's a good one to show. Good compensation for the AB test. Maybe give a four star at Black Knight to all the people who are unboosted. That was the biggest thing they missed. It's not enough, but it's something. I would agree with that. Even not even a four star. They just gave a three star. They just gave the unlock, right? Because the biggest thing, the biggest issue I had with it is that you were able to do the incursion campaign and the ISO campaign, uh, the blue one, and I wasn't, and so I missed out on Black Knight, and that's so bad. Started one day before me, yeah. 
And it's not like you had just entered either. You were in there for a while. Actually, speaking of that, what uh, what star level is your Kang at, Sean? Because that's interesting. Because you got that incursion energy earlier, which is basically when you compare a non-boosted to a boosted account, that was a free resource you got. So you just had more time to freely farm a character than I did. So it's not just the silver, dark promos, and gold promos you got a huge jump on. It's also those like pivotal incursion characters. No, they're never going to get compensation, though. They're never going to say they A-B tested. At least I don't think. I might show, like, Mega Bros attack here. Four-star Kang? Okay. Close to five. Mine just hit four-star. I farm it every day. Probably this weekend, Poppy. It'll probably be, like, Saturday, unfortunately. Maybe I'll stream... Well, I will stream Saturday night, but I don't know if we're going to do Helldivers with Scotty or if we might... Maybe we'll do a Marvel Strike Force baby account stream at nighttime. We can do that. I'll save Dark Dimension 3. Uh, is Dark Dimension 3... Wait. They do... They split it up then, right? That's Cosmic Global City. I don't think I'll be able to enter it. I won't have enough gold to level up the, the teams all the way up to 75. And we just got the war payout, right? Yes, yeah, so I just won't have enough. Actually, wait a minute. Hold up. Stop the presses. We didn't go two for six. No, 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 no. We went five for nine because we got to count the baby account, all right? We went five for nine crucible this week, which puts us at a positive win rate. We are above our 60% win rate, and we had real opponents with some real defenses. So, I'm the best. Uh, not yet much vibes, but they should be coming probably in the next month and a half. Yeah, like two months, I think, Foxy. Yeah, like two months? No, it's got to be closer to three months now. We'll check after I'm done doing this. Uh, this is Baby um, Extreme versus Mayor. We subtract some boys when we have steel strategy for you. Who reads the raid kits, all right? They make raid teams to sim. You shouldn't have to read them. No, I should have known that. I don't know why I thought it peeled from everybody. Is it five you got to build for DB6 at that point? Yeah. Yeah, exact. Uh, oh, you want to see how many days old this is? How many days? 96 days. Oh, we're at the three month mark. Wow, okay. It's been a hot minute, huh? Was there anything else worth capturing? I think I want to capture Mega Bros New Warriors hit into that. Um... Or maybe I capture his extreme into Gamma. Did Skunkers one shot that. Wait, did Skunkers one shot the Weapon X team with his extreme? Holy crap, Skunker's one shot. What? On a 400,000 punch up? It's 
So, I mean, like, is that like a lucky targeting thing? If it goes for Nightcrawler, do you auto lose? Yeah, I have three diamonds on my baggy decaying, yeah. Holy crap. As simple as that, huh? As simple as that. That's crazy. That's insane. That's actually insane. On a 400k punch up one shot. That's insane. What the hell? Extreme is just too good. We got to capture the gamma one too. This is after burn attack, mind you, but that's fine. It's still a 600k punch up into the burn attack. It's, the, it's them not having abilities that makes it possible, mind you. This is extreme into Weapon X. Baby extreme into Weapon X. That's crazy. That's what two years of power creep does. Yeah, plus a little bit of lucky targeting, right? Like if Nightcrawler got hit by the ability block there, it's over. This one is, even with the exhaust, this is impressive to me. Cause like Braun stole all those buffs. She Hulk's um. She Hulk's uh, charges keep going off at the perfect time for extreme here though. Gotta keep that in mind. Like she didn't throw off the ability block here, right? So he stayed ability blocked. Boom. Boom. So she's at five now, but he dies before she throws it back. He dies too right before she throws it back. Very, very crucial things that happen there. Now keep an eye on this Red Hulk. This is crazy. He's at 50% life. He loses the death proofs and he's just dead. Like Gambit just killed him. Even on the, even with exhaust, even like that kind of punch up, Gambit doing that is crazy to me. Oh my god! Uh, baby extreme into gamma exhausted. All right, now I want to show the new warriors team because you you kind of have to build new warriors up. But it's really helpful in war. And they're going to have it last a long time, which is nice. You got to build them up for Goblin. But it's nice to have them still. Whoa! Extra, extra. I meant New Avengers. What did I say? Woo! All right, so Misty's dead. She'll she'll lose her charge on this turn, then she'll bleed out. Shang Chi hasn't been pushed yet, and now he has. There you go. So he just lost his last charge. There he goes. I said New Word. Yeah, I meant, I meant New Avengers. All right, there goes uh, Iron Fist last charge. That's good. A whole clip. Ropes. 
just if you know then you know Okay, okay, okay. This, is, this was a long time. I think he was probably about to time out. So this is the replay and it's still going. We're at the two minute mark. So I got to imagine he was thinking in between some of these steps. Probably didn't have it on auto. Well, we know he didn't have an auto because we see him targeting. So it's something. Yeah. I imagine this was very close to a timeout. He probably was on auto at this point. That Luke Cage stonewalled him so hard. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing a video on, like, teams mid-game and new players should build. And New Avengers are going to make that list because of their use for Green Goblin and their longevity in War to Come. Mind you, they're not going to be top of the list by any stretch of the imagination, but they're going to make the list. Also, I'm not sure which T4s uh, Darkhold needs, but you would never put those in now. All right, um, I don't think I'm going to record the Eternals one. I don't think that does anything for anybody, the one I did here. It was Eternals Morgan Sylvie up against the Infestation. It doesn't, that doesn't do anything for anybody. We got we got a bunch of extreme examples. Okay, so then it was the next room. I use like my Superior 6 and stuff. It's Morbin time. This hive mind beating this unlimited is very fascinating, and I definitely want an example of this. Mega Bros went fucking popped off in this war. Look at this. This is crazy. Level 45 so far, it feels like it's only worth really playing when dailies reset. Is that how it's supposed to be? Uh, well, level 45, you haven't unlocked events yet. Um, I don't know what raid difficulty you're doing yet, Vibes. Uh, you haven't unlocked Crucible yet. Have you? And you just unlocked War now. So have you got to do your first war? So you're about to unlock the game modes that are going to give you more reasons to log on and play. This is a crazy punch up. There's no exhaust. So yeah, this is a fresh match. Red Goblin spreads all that. Yikes. As soon as Red Goblin gets his turn, he's going to bring her back. Dazzler gone. Venom's gonna die here. But so is Gambit. So is Rogue. Yeah. Okay. Well played. Yikes. Hive mind too good. I think I'm going to include this in my other video that I have coming out today. Because I want to show that the Unlimited team is, like, dead. It's a dead team. Do you think it still makes sense to focus on APOC unlock right now? I do. Yeah, I do. I think it still makes sense to get him as quickly as you can. Baby Hive Mind versus Unlimited 400k punch up. Okay. All right, what else we got here? Mega Bros popped the F off, huh? Ba -ba 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 we got Pegasus taking on Rebirth. Nothing crazy about that one. 
Fade Tyrell did his best. He's doing a bunch of punch ups. He's got Green Goblin. Awesome. Awesome, Dave. Alright, yeah, I did a giant punch up here into Young Avengers, and then I did a big one into um, As Guardians as well. Look at this bit. Look how big this punch up was. I, minus 300k. Yeah, okay, let's show the Cabal team first. Uh, we also did Pegasus and a Black Road and a big punch up. So, yeah, we'll record these three after that. Let's just start with the top one. It's fine. And then that's definitely going to be enough footage for this video I want to do. Plus, we're getting a vampire team. He better be on it. Yeah, true, Poppy. True. Yeah, that's a good point, Vibes. You, you, you also want to log in for when the free energy happens. So this one, the America Chavez did have the T4 because Kate went super fast. Let him rot, give us Dracula. I, I, I might be okay with that too. <laughs> or let him rot, give us blade. You know what I mean? Definitely let him rot, give us blade. If that's a choice we have to make. Hey, Emma. Hey, Emma. Bow, wow. I thought for sure I was going to lose this fight. It was too big a punch up. They had the right T4s. But then I started to like extend the debuffs on Squirrel Girl and I started to get more and more comfortable. There's a Vampire Jubilee. Well, now we're getting a little bit too optimistic. Actually, I haven't watched the X-Men, uh, the, the revamp show in a while. I should get on that. The dupes dying was so helpful to keep Mysterio's energy up. I loved every second of it. Oh yeah, I was in a mad dash here to kill the squirrel girl before she healed. Because I knew the heal was coming next. Vampire universe they can pull from? I'm sure there is. But I just don't think they're gonna. We already know Karen's gonna be in there, right? And I know a lot of people feel a way about Karen. I feel like those people just never watched Daredevil season one, two, and three. I, at the very at the very most, they didn't watch Daredevil season two with the Punisher, with her arc and the Punisher in it, right? Uh so not a lot of people are hyped on Karen. But we know Karen's gonna be on it. It looks like fucking man thing is gonna be on it. Um, is that the only two characters we know right now? We assume, we kind of assume if it's a monster team, we hope Elsa is going to be on it, right? We assume some reworks, which is probably Morbius and Elsa. And then is it Blade to round the team out as a legendary coming later? Is it Dracula coming as a legendary later? Who knows? Bloodstream, there you go. How does Undying Sus sound in uh, Room 4? Undying Sus doesn't work in Room 4 because Room 4 evaporates your Greg. I got to go back and capture that footage. It evaporates your Greg. You actually don't get to keep Greg. Um, what was this? This was uh, Baby uh, Sin 6 versus Young Avengers.
This match I thought was crazy. Yeah, no Greg Big all sad exact. It's a bug. I'm going to bring it up to them. But it's because it's taking 25% of Hella's life from the Greg, which evaporates him. But then it's not registering as a kill. Yeah, it's weird. More global villains? Non-legendary, non-mythic? Um, or they just need to make the global villains better. Like, we just got we just got Cabal, right? So that's three global villains right there. But I would love to see, like, uh, Baron Strucker... I'd love to see Baron Zemo get shown a little bit of love. Same with Red Skull. Like, they're so iconic. They keep working Captain America, which is great. But, like, the iconic villain of Captain America is Red Skull. I feel like every time they rework Captain America, they should give Red Skull a rework, too. Look how bad this happened for us. I'm, I'm starting to wonder how I pulled this back. It's kind of just black or black order is too low yeah it's kind of just the black order room if anything so quicksilver and kang came to the rescue on this one huh i don't know the cabal kind of holding it down on their own right too the turn meter rewind from namor i think he's about to do it again as well hard to <laughs> let's get some nazi love in marvel strike force you got to detach the character from the character you know what i mean you gotta detach the character from the character i understand what you're saying though poppy i didn't even i didn't even take it there in my head my head does not go to red skulls a nazi but he's 100 percent a nazi ain't he this is baby cabal verse uh hero asgard Okay, let's get you the last one. The last one was Pegasus first Black Order. Oh, I also did my new Avengers up against the Marauders. Yeah, we'll capture it all. We did some bangers for fights on the punching up. That's like Red Skull's main thing. Yeah. To me, Red Skull's main thing is Hydra, and Hydra's made up, but it is Red Skull's main thing that he's a fucking Nazi. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing, but I'm just, I'm laughing at my own stupidity that I completely forgot that connection. Oh, Jesus. All right, there's the cleanse, and this is where the, the Pegasus team takes over. Oh no! The new Clin Tower? I don't know. Hopefully we'll hear news about it tomorrow in the blog. I actually haven't gone over the blog yet. I don't even know if it's in the box. On a 50 mil punch up. Let's go, DJ Donk. They had Seth Superior 6, VK, and SD on defense. God damn. They were not making it easy on you, huh? Okay, last one. Is this the last one? Yeah, we're definitely not going to show the Wakandans. You should not build Wakandans. Alright, this was... Pegasus versus Black Order. Oh, baby. I got the word baby to it. Baby. Whoop. Baby Pegasus versus Black Order. We got lots of baby footage. We don't need it anymore. They didn't clear you? Oh, there you go. You flipped the script on them.
It'd be cool for a vampire team and a separate monsters team. Yeah, I could get down with that. The problem is like monsters, vampires is so so thematically wrapped around Halloween. They would want to do both those teams around Halloween, right? I consider testing Shuri plus Killmonger and Crucible with Cabal, but other options seem stronger. He'd have speed up, so he'd not, he wouldn't be slow. Shuri goes before him though, right? So she would she would give him energy, so he could all. Can he be counterattacked? I mean, like obviously the the MOE team would still be the best, or Scroll Apocalypse, that sort of combinations. Trying to check if the blog is here already. What day is it? It's April the 11th. Okay. Later, Callie. Have yourself a good one, too. Oops. I keep missing the, the turning off of the recording. That was NA versus Marauders, right? That was the baby account again. All right. I think I got enough footage captured. So let's make some, uh, let's make some art to go with it. Same sort of thing we did with the last couple. Any watch that Fallout show yet? No, I saw the commercial for it yesterday, I think. It looked pretty good. Here, bum, 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 bum. Whoops, why is it doing that? Who do we want to put up here? I think Void Knight. Maybe a more recognizable character. Venom. It's gonna be for the thumbnail. For its better society level of the hundred gear tier team will do fine in two point three. Do I need to buy them? I would be worried about for its stars um, landing debuffs, but if you make them all skirmishers, I think you can bridge that gap and get away with four red, four yellow. But you'll want definitely a skirmisher on Pavitra, um, Penny, and on. Uh, Big Daddy, Big Daddy Spider, um, Daddy Long Legs, if you will. And then you want Raider on Noir and Striker on Ghost Spider, and Ghost Spider is going to be the one that carries you all the way to the finish. Okay, um, mid, okay, how to build. The must builds, the must build teams. And then, actually, I would love to get some raid footage of the Bifrost team. Am I at that part right now? I might be. Oh, that was Crucible. 
playing energy. This is tech, Dan. Ah, you know what? Maybe we could record just the tech section going, getting wrecked. These are 137 enemies. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this is fine. Let's go ahead and hit record. There we go. That was a good clip to show new players like, hey, not only is building the raid teams uh, necessary, it's going to save you a lot of your data to time. Daily raid team value. It's going to save you a lot of um, in-game screen time you may not want to do every single day. And it's going to transfer over to War and Crucible. Being a standard and a half free to play alliance is always kind of weird. Feels bad buying raid teams that aren't good outside of raids if you're going to be waiting three months for free to play to get them up and running anyway. True. What I will say, DJ, is um, they are going to have use in Crucible. They're going to have use in Crucible on because of stage two. 100,000%. have anything up here right you know what i think that's going to be the thing to show here One more Zuggerman at five stars. Let's go. Um, early slash mid crucible. Has there been any more push on Scopely to give me something to spend my 35k silver from Amazon? We push them and they they, they say no. <laughs> We're never going to get anything like that, unfortunately. There's never going to be like a conversion to diamonds or anything like that. Because it would just, it would, for a lot of people, diamonds would just be solved at that point, right? Build these and win.
that's a good thumbnail. DBCs, I don't think that'll ever happen either. If they can convert to training mats, I think a lot of people would love that. Even if it was like a really bad amount, any kind of conversion system would be so welcomed by the community. <laughs> I'm gonna grab Forge here. some footage some more footage if I can help it here I would love to accidentally beat this but I think that gambit will kill me let's see if this works Ooh, let's take on this this big uh, hive mind team. A couple dodges on the turn meter one we didn't really want to have happen there. This should still kill the red goblin though. Good. That's bad. Nightcrawler's gonna come in Queen House though, right? How did he get safeguard? Wait a minute, how did Void Knight get safeguard? I must have missed something crazy. Been stunned here. Me to rewind. She's dead. He's hit. Now he's dead too. What a punch up. All right. Arena is not cookie cutter town. Baby Arena Clay. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, so does Blackbird work on Room Two Bifrost? Uh, so against certain levels of Bifrost, it can work. Yeah, it can. It's it seems sketch. Seems super sketch to me. Um, because you it relies on your big ass Thanos. His special turns the Deflex to bleeds. Those bleeds scale off your Thanos. So first of all, you definitely want the the passive, uh, sorry, the special T forward on Thanos in that case. 
Uh, you also want to have a giant Thanos. You want him to be a striker. Um, and you want to hope to God that that they bleed out and they don't uh, live with a, a sliver of life and then bounce back at you. Because that, be, that would just be death. All right, this is good enough for one slide. Raid teams are number one priority. Is war a higher priority in the early game? Wait, actually, no, not even a lie, not even a joke. Is war a higher priority in the early game than Crucible is? Because Crucible, you're just going to hit a wall where the second somebody puts up a gear tier 18 or 17. Like, I, I have an opponent who had an entire gear tier 17 extreme team. If he puts that up on defense in stage three, there is literally nothing I could do. But at least with war, I'll be able to get the currency with my alliance mates. Uh, it gets you gold. It gets you the rate of the uh, currency there. There's a season to it. So there's a way to get T4s. I, war might... Nah, I still think you just build for Crucible. And your Crucible team's just kind of... They, they bleed over into war. Like Cabal. Like Superior Six. Like Masters of Evil. Like Tangled Web. Anyway. Woo! What did I do? Tying it. Ooh. So your view is off now? Yeah, my view is off now. Uh, we won. We won by a big margin. You know what I would say? I actually, I would say building your war offense teams is going to give you a lot more longevity as a mid game player because war offense teams just last longer. So if you were to ask me, like as a new player, what am I going to get more benefit out of? Building my new Avengers now or building up my uh, what would be an equivocal team? Tangled Web, New Warriors. Build up, sorry, if I build up my new Avengers now, I build up my new Warriors now. It's be like build up new Avengers, not just because of the Scourge use, but because war teams last longer than Crucible teams. Yeah, war teams last so long, so it it kind of makes sense to prioritize them over Crucible teams, unless there is like serious overlap. Say that to War Dogs. War Dogs are still in the in the meta. War Dogs are definitely still in the meta uh, in War. Let's duplicate this. Um, then there's Crucible to talk about. 
I think we got to be realistic about Crucible. Because Crucible, you're you're much much harder gated on how hard how far you can climb in comparison with Alliance War. Oh wow, I'm in Silver One now. Sick, I got promoted. What's the big difference? 4,500 versus 6,000, right? That's the huge difference when it comes to farming the characters. 22,000 if you're in Grandmaster. That's why the J2D account has like 300,000 of that resource and we're never going to run out. What up, Shani? <clears throat> yeah. Well, it's not just because it's, it's just there's not enough players, right? So you catch up very quickly in Crucible, whereas in War, there's lots of alliances out there. I don't know. It's it's a weird dichotomy. Let's um let's show the Cabal team here maybe. It's gonna be a warning about Crucible. Like Crucible, don't don't get it twisted. My favorite game mode by far. Um, but it's hmm. it is the least fair area, the least fair game mode to deal with. Because if you, like I said, if if one of my opponents here put their gear tier seventeen extreme on defense, it's over. I just lose. Impossible to climb, right? That's something that the boost did. Like, for Sean, if he, if he just maxed out one of his teams and he kept all his other teams kind of, like, on the lower side but still, like, you know, level 65, gear tier 12, I simply wouldn't be able to clear one of his rooms. I simply wouldn't be able to. The only saving grace is that if he did build up, well, you know, because he could just go to gear tier 17 and stop there and then go back and double up and make sure he's got enough teams. I It's just... Between the levels and just time input into the game, there, there's such a giant, a drastic difference um, as to what somebody can have one stopgate team on defense, and then you're just ruined. All right, so that is... Wow. Close all those. So that that's three when is there something I need to forget? Because I want to talk about building raid teams. I want to talk about some of the war teams, and I want to talk about the carryovers. And then some some crucible teams that are worth it. But not really. Oh, we just want to give a big warning about crucible. Oh, arena. Step into the arena, right? No one can clear my extreme. I was undefeated in CC. I also trolled people and put a full out of time team. Yeah, there you go. More, oh, sorry. Um, something just popped on my screen, so I didn't get to read what you put down. Just give me a second. Is there a more reliable counter to Superior 6 in Room 3 other than Hawkeye Skrull? Hawkeye Skrull is super reliable. I've done, like, almost 2 million punch-up. What what uh, what has happened that made it not, lose, uh, not went for you, Shawnee? The more uh, it might that might be actually the most reliable counter because the mirror match is going to be a slog fest. Cabal doesn't work. That might be the most reliable. Nice, Uma. I mean, that's no, that's just the way it goes, man. It ebbs and flows. It's always going to ebb and flow. I haven't tried this. I did it last year. Okay, so 
The most important thing in that matchup is positioning. So scroll in the corner, Doom beside, Hawkeye on the other side of Doom, Minerva, OG Falcon, right? You want to basic with scroll first, then special with scroll, making sure you at least clip the Green Goblin. After that, your Doom is either going to get pushed and he's going to go, or your Hawkeye goes before the Lizard. And then for sure that third hit is going to push your, your Doom. What could happen, Sean, is if the opponent doesn't have Slayer on their team, then they won't have offense up. In that case, mirror match it. Because if, if they take Slayer off, then they don't have the full five superior six. Their goblin would go after your goblin. But also, because you have offense up, you would shred them to pieces before they get to go. Why superior six randomly counterattacks and CCs? No, I reported it yesterday. Wait and hear back from them. Yeah, waiting to hear back from them. Not not super in love with that that issue. And apparently it's been a known issue that's been reported to them twice now. Counter for Cabal, Sus, Vulture in room four. We'll use your own Cabal for sure. Go in there with um, Cabal, Vulture, Emma. Yeah. You need to go in there with a villain to reduce speed bar. Only Emma will do that. Uh, so your Vulture goes first. You do a massive rewind, and then you wreck them. From there, you wreck them. Mirror, basically, but no sus. Bring your Emma instead of Vulture. Yeah. What room does that sub-6 mirror work in? The, sub the superior 6 mirror matchup work in every single room if you have more superior 6 members than they do. If not, then you're going to want to uh, look at the scroll counter. The second, the second Spider Slayer is on the team and uh goblin has offense up he's gonna push your doom now if there is a if they have spider slayer but vulture instead of like lizard or something i would still do the mirror match first because you're still gonna go first you're still gonna rewind them to hell you're still gonna get all the assists and now because superior six doesn't spawn with defense up you will destroy them does hawkeye and og falcon need to be built not at all no Hawkeye is just his speed bar, or sorry, his speed stat lets him go before both the Green Goblin's first turn because you rewound the Green Goblin with Skrull and the Lizard. And so that extra retaliate from the uh, from the Goblin pushes your Skrull. Uh, pushes your Doom, sorry. All right, so I have build these teams and win, and then I have the raid teams are pride number one, war carryovers, crucible for beginners, and step into the arena. Step into the arena is going to happen after the raid teams are priority number one, probably. I think that's going to make the most sense. And then war team carryovers, crucible for beginners. Yeah. I phase a superior six plus black knight in room four this round. Hive plus sus wreck them. Would have been scary against a huge Black Knight, though. Yeah. So, because it's in stage four, your sus could alt turn one, right? And that's what you did. So, Hive Mind just, like, outsped the crap out of them. Outside of team four, I think I'd be scared of that matchup still. Because Green Goblin, uh, doing Green Goblin things, really. I wonder what I would do. What would, what would you do against a Superior 6 Black Knight where you can't scroll ult turn 1? Because that Goblin's going to go and fuck you up. Maybe that's the move. Maybe Superior 6 Black Knight in Stage 1 is going to be the move. Because caballing that is going to be bad for your health. Because Green Goblin's so fast, and he put and he stops the vulnerables too. Just drop Lizard, I guess. Superior Six Black Knight coming to a crucible near you next week, guys.
And Sus is shut down by Black Knight, yeah. That's the move. And you throw it into stage one. Because you wouldn't be able to scroll Doom that. Superior Six Mirror with APOC. Uh, you'd, you'd have the coin flip to deal with. You would have to your first of all you you'd lose your apocalypse right, um, so that's a win already, but your green goblin would still have to win the coin flip against the enemy green goblin because if you get rebound first oh boy, and you'd probably keep lizard so he can steal defense up from the enemy so you would drop Craven I guess, Craven's the safeguard though is there any team that would say okay now that they don't have safeguard I win. I don't think so. Apocalypse. Uh, somebody bring an apocalypse and we'll take the safeguard off anyway. I think you keep the go uh, you keep the Doc Ock for life. I think you get rid of. I think you get rid of Craven. You keep Lizard so he can give offense up. Or sorry, defense up and whatever other buffs he's stealing. I don't know, man. That'd be a tough one. That'd be so tough. I'm going to have to throw that on defense, sadly. We're going to have to go toxic mode with it. All right. Uh, well, I think we got the slides I need to make that video. It worked. Let's go, Shawnee. Oh, you just did it? There you go. Let's go. I think so, DJ Donk. I think that's going to be an absolute nightmare. Red Hulk unlock and the Dark Eden method, four nodes, DG8. Got three horsemen, fine, but the third node on Red Hulk is destroying me. The one where you first use Avengers. I'm going in with my new Avengers and to swap and cap, but that's all I really got Avenger wise. Has anything actually. Has anyone actually been able to do this? What was your kill order? I believe you need to kill Valkyrie first, at least according to Marvel Church. No matter what I've tried, my peeps just die. Eventually, a little hyperbole there, okay? But they don't hold up well. And obviously, I need them for Node 4 also. Any hints would uh, be most appreciated. I keep gearing them a little anyhow. But I believe they are good enough for Green Goblin uh, Classic, according to the last Boylan baby video account. I know you didn't have him in your video. Have you been able to do this? He's got them at 75, gear tier 14. He's got five on Tigra. Wow. Hey. I'm actually super surprised that team you linked is having troubles. I knew the... I know that section is the hardest of all the horsemen. I, uh, but I've heard from others they were able to get through it. I would uh, probably consider dropping thing for Captain America and giving that a try for sure but if you aren't even getting through the first wave maybe my, uh, maybe I was misled in what I'm going to 
to be attempting that trial uh, next run after I hit level 75 as well. I'll keep being posted. Morning, Cap. So you know new words or superior six on offense? I don't know what beats Bifrost plus Deathpool. It doesn't involve Apoc or Sus, though. Man, this is new words. That's crazy to me. That's interesting, though. Yeah, because the speed that it gives, right? I think I hear a baby next door. Oh, it's right noon. My wife is bringing the baby in. I might have to end the stream so I could go be with the baby. My my wife has a, a Zoom call with the other kid to discuss some stuff. Luca, viens ici. Est-ce que tu ouvres le pot? Viens ici. Come say hello. Oui, mon gars. Oui, bébé. Oui, bébé. Viens ici, Luke. Luke, come here. Yeah. yeah. Puss, ouvre le pot. What? Ouvre le pot. Turn. Turn. Turn it, puss. No? Okay. Let it go to shit. Let's take off. Ooh, is that Rubble's uh, gum truck? We? Oui. Oui. You gonna come say hello? It's been a while since you said hello. Daddy? Yeah. Rocky Rock. Rocky. Oh, sorry. It's not Rubble. It's Rocky. Rocky's the green one, eh? <laughs> you gonna say hello? Hello. To that? Hello. <laughs> Are you learning to speak better? You gonna have a phone call about your language? Can you say, my name's Lucas? My name's me. That's close. It sounded like you said, rah, 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 rah. You say, my name is Lucas? Hmm? Say it. Me. Your name me. Your name is Lucas. Okay. Ki Kisa. That's Rocky. No, so say Rocky. Kisa. Me. No, no. Lucas. Daddy. Daddy. Lucas. Daddy, mama, daddy, bada. <laughs> Can you say Lucas? Lucas. 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 How about just Luke? Luke. 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 Say, I am. Avec Daddy. I am. <laughs> Say it with me. Say, I am. Hey. Z. Je m'appelle. Avec Daddy. Come on. Je m'appelle. Thank you for me. I am Lucas. Okay, so you can say hello, right? Can you say hello? Hello. Can you say bye? Bye. Can you say Lucas? Lucas. <laughs> uh, thoughts on what could counter BK Cat Peggy Dorm Doom in four? Uh, Cabal will crush it, right? Because Doom's not going to get anything, and they, they have ways to strip revive off. Um, Vulture will go in there and do a rewind before Cabal pops off, and then you could... Use Kang to kill the Black Knight and just go from there. Yeah, that's what I would do. You're pushing your face into my mouth. I'm going to eat your hair. <laughs> Cabal for the sus team. Uh, new Warriors could 100% get it done, Cap. There's a little bit of RNG, and if you strip the taunt from Black Knight or not, though. Hey, you, got, you can't hit that. It hurts people's ears, okay? Hey, here, let's try this. Daddy. Daddy. Luke. 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 
Good, Luke. You are Luke. Luke. I am your father. That's why I named you Lucas for the one joke. I'm gonna make it till the day I die. You're Luke and I'm your father. All right, are you gonna run along and play? No. Nah. No, you can't stay here forever, kiddo. You gotta go to your meeting with mommy. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Shh. No screeching. No. What's your name? Juicy. Juicy. G. No. <laughs> Lucas. Oh, oh, you tried to say Lucas. Yes, Hiski. What's your name? Lucas. Lucas, yes, you're doing great. Look at my mouth. Look at my mouth, okay? Lou. No, no. Lou. No, no, no. Lou. 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 No, no, see, your mouth is doing this all the time. Okay. Watch your head. Watch your head on the desk. Go get it. I'm not getting it for you. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. You're just going to play under there now? Okay. Some streamers have dogs. I have Lucas. J, J, J. What? J. Batman? J. You want to play with Batman? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Want me to take it down? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Everything is going to fall. in there? Okay. Rocky. Yeah, buddy? Down. Yeah. Up down. Is that coming down? Down. And then you gotta pull it down. There you go. That man opens up and there's a bat cave. It's an awesome toy. Uh, for the kids. Not for me. Um, time to see how far autoing XT and D3 goes. Let's go. Uh, how far away am I from leveling? I am 7,000 experience away. I've already done all those. I think I've done all my ISOs as well. Uh, sure have. I, I don't think I've done... Is there experience in this campaign? And is it equal to... It is, right? Not quite, because you only get 100. That's okay. We'll do one here. I've gotten pretty lucky on this. I got a purple drop, I think. I got 15 shards. So I already got him unlocked, which was really nice. Um, I need to build them up, too, unfortunately. Because, um, yeah, I got zombie Iron Man as well. They'll be super helpful for war, though. And because the three piece is not so bad, but right now all my T threes are going into Ghost Spider and Noir, so that they're ready. Ooh, game crashed. My first order of this go was a thirty drop. Let's go. That's the yellow drop, right? Yeah, kiddo. There's money in there. It's mine. It's mine. Mine. Give it to me. It's pennies. His brother shoved pennies in there. That's the gold drop. Nice. Very nice. All right, guys. I'm going to play with this kid. I know at noon he's got a, a Zoom call with my wife, and I got to watch the baby then. So I'm going to go edit the stuff that we got here today. You you can expect the um, the best players are building these teams up video to drop in two hours. Um, there's no there's no Envoy exclusive stuff anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, and then. Tomorrow will be the, the other video we just did where we beat Praetoria, luckily. And yeah, and then we'll be streaming tomorrow. I think tomorrow and tonight, definitely tonight, 
is going to be a big Kingdom Hearts stream, or we start trying to launch the other channel. I got to launch that other channel. I got to start, you know what? Tonight, we're probably going to do a research stream where I look for the news sources when it comes to gaming. So we, we try and get a, a pulse on, you know, where people are getting their gaming news, what games are coming out, stuff like that. So we can start covering that because that is super interesting to me because I love watching those videos. I think I would like to make those videos. Um, so I know like Blizzard forums for Blizzard games. I'm sure there's other forums just for like Xbox and PlayStation games in general. And then from there, you could see a game coming in, find the developer, go check out what the developer's up to, stuff like that, see trailers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'd like to do that. I'd like to cover like new mobile games that come out just to like play them for a few days, make a video on it, that sort of thing. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. That should be tonight. That'll be fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I'm sure somebody is, is sticky streaming yet. No sticky ain't streaming. I see Bendable's on. All right, let's go right over to Bendable on the Twitch part. Um, for you guys, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you enjoyed the shenanigans we had early on in the Crucible. But more than anything else, I hope you guys are happy, healthy, and having fun. Have yourselves an amazing, amazing, amazing day. And I don't see Bendy here. Why don't I see Bendy on this? And I will see you guys soon. Bend a bowl. Straws. Is that right? This is a long winded type. It took me a while to find him under the new rating thing, but here he comes. Ooh, that Fallout movie does look pretty good. Cool. Oh, it's, oh, it's a show on Prime. Oh, I'm going to go watch that. Okay, guys. Take care. Bye bye. You guys on YouTube, you're the very best. Uh, no one can ever take that away from you. Not even the salty Twitch chatters, okay? You're the best. I'll talk soon. Bye.